Welcome back to another episode, guys. We've had the most beautiful time down on the south coast of WA. We went exploring to the east of Esperance. We went out to the much less popular Cape Arid National Park, which has some of the most beautiful beaches we've seen. We took a break from filming and just spent some time together as a family, which was really, really nice. Then we started heading north and we actually finally went and got ourselves a little tinny set up, which we've been talking about for months and months. And we cannot wait to show you guys. We've headed north now and we are just north of Durian Bay at the Sandy Cape Recreation Reserve. This is all right, eh? Yeah, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, cheers, mate. Hard to stay. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right. Thinking we're just going to spend the hour here drinking beers and wines. Yeah, definitely not a bad outlook. Mm. Good. So we're heading down to some old World War II bunkers that are just, is it past Durian Bay? No, they're just, they're at North Head, which is about half an hour south of where we're camping. Mm. Um, and yeah, we're going to go and check them out. I think it's, it's sort of like about a half an hour little four drive track in there apparently. Um, and then, yeah, they've got like, I think there's maybe three or four bunkers out there. The wiki, we have had a look at the wiki camp reviews and it does say that they're a bit damaged, like, you know, there's a bit of graffiti and glass on the ground and stuff. But that seems to be the case with free stuff or like, you know, stuff that's not sort of monitored. Are you right back there? No. I'm no. glad that she's crying a little bit because... Um, Why? Someone contacted us the other day and was saying like, oh, I wish my kid was as good in the car as Lila is. And we, we looked at each other and we were like, we really need to make this more real. So this is real, isn't it? Sometimes good, sometimes not so good. <laughs> so I'm saying that this is the track here. We'll, uh, we'll cruise down here. This is a start. There is, there is a heap of different ways you can get into this track. Like when I looked on the Hema, there's, there's sort of, there's little tracks going everywhere, but this is, this is the one that's directing us down. So we'll, uh, we'll charge down here and see if we can't get lost. Oh, that sound. It is so narrow. <laughs> I don't know if we've come down the right track. Oh. This track, this is a motorbike track. Yeah, I look out the front. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it's been driven as recently as I thought. <laughs> and hopefully this this um coastline is worth the scratches. <laughs> So this is this is the road you want to go on. <laughs> or apparently you can turn. I'll, I'll look this up, but apparently you can turn right at the information board at the campground, and that takes you along the coast. So I think that's the better way to go. Um, that little goat track we just took, that was the worst track ever. Don't go down that track. Yeah, we've lost a kilo of paint. That was a that was a paint detailer's dream. That track. <laughs> anyway, this track's good. We're not even touching the sides now, so. Australia in full driving and stuff. She bloody loves it. Look at her. 
This is what happens. Rough four drive tracks. Every single She's time. She's asleep. <laughs> every single time we have four drive, she oh, falls asleep. Oh my goodness. Gentle rock. It's definitely a fun little track, actually. It like, is. Like it's way better than I was thinking. But there's a there's a track on the map. There's all roads further inland from the beach. Um, I'm thinking potentially that because I read some reviews that people said it's just a hard road all the way there. Um, so maybe we've taken. You look a out the windscreen. Track. It's definitely not. This is not like a hard <laughs> it's road. It's most definitely soft sand. Yeah. Um, and pretty like. Yeah. On funky angles and Up, stuff. Yeah, here, there, and everywhere. But it's it's really good fun. I definitely go this way. If you're thinking of coming out here, like this if you track. you like full driving. Yeah. yeah sure. This track doesn't look like it's been driven all that much. To be honest. What have you got the tires at? Uh, they're on about 20. Yeah, okay. So. Nothing crazy, crazy. No. But it's sort of, there's rocky sections and there's soft sand sections mm. and there's sort of. It reminds me a little bit of um, like the Sleaford Wanna Track and stuff where you go from rock to soft sand. So yeah. that makes it a bit harder to put the tire pressure yeah. to a particular thing. But yeah, no, it's a, uh, it's a fun little track. And like you get little, as you come through, you sort of, if you go on the furthest track to the coast, um, you get little, wherever there's clearings, you see through to the, uh, to the beach. It looks, it's beautiful, so. Warning ticks, Madagascar is 6,907 kilometers away and the World War II yeah. radar bunkers that way. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, once you get to the end here where these bunkers are, you sort of, there's just tracks going everywhere to get in. You've got to be a little bit careful because they're really wind affected. Uh, the sand is just, there's there's sections where there's just big holes and drop-offs and all sorts of stuff everywhere. So anyway, definitely jump out of your car and, and sort of check where you drive now. I'm just going to have a look at this one now because it looks like a bit of a doozy. I don't know about this bit. Oh, right, go down there. Do you think? Yeah. It gets hard again right at the bottom, but yeah, this bit looks right. dodgy as. Give us a bit of a look. Probably can't see it all that much, but it's definitely um, very much, you'll see it more once I drive down. foot now leaving the car here you couldn't really see any other way of sort of getting any further there is a few tracks but they're all like so blown out like big holes and a bit, a bit crazy with the boat on so this is where we are and these oh I lost me out these are the bunkers that looks sick yeah how's the cars it's obviously blowing its ass off. You probably can't hear us, but we'll go and have a look anyway. Got my big baby. Hey, mate. Hey. <laughs> when the wind wasn't up, it wouldn't have been a bad little spot to be posted. Out here, you've got your own private little bay, your little bunkers, your own little beach. Hey. <laughs> Would have been paradise out here. Just like chock a block full of rubbish, eh? People have pulled the. I guess these are the old mattresses. Oh, 
Jesus. This dude scared the shit out of me. <laughs> How is it? Pretty gnarly. Far out, the paintings on these things are pretty sick. Man. These are gnarly. Well, this has been so cool. These little bunkers are super strange. Really cool artwork, aside from all of the like actual graffiti. And just really strange, like such a picture of what it would be like for people to live there. Crazy. Must have been a bit isolated. But the view when the wind is down, beautiful. <laughs> Look at the watercolour. Come on, mate. So Lila's absolutely obsessed with uh, finding crabs at the moment. So we're on a we're on a crab mission, find some little crabs. What are we looking for, Lila? What are we looking for? Find some crabs. Can you say crabs? And what do they do? Nick, yeah. Nick. Is there any under here? Go and have a look. Is there any crabs in there? Is there any in there? You see any? No. No? What are we looking for? Nip nip. Oh, it's still like a little protected spot though. Yeah. So we've just made it back. There's a bloody cyclone. It's so windy. Look it's at that tree. So windy. <laughs> That's alright. It's it's um yeah blowing an absolute gale. But our little cove, Sandy Cove, is still pretty good. Yeah, we're in the wind tunnel either. Yeah. That's okay. Win some, you lose some. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> jump in and have some lunch. So that was really cool. Definitely worth going to check out. Definitely. Um, that was pick your track, pick your track wisely. Yeah, some of them are very tight and you could get caught out. You could get caught out up there pretty easy yeah. too. Some yeah. of the tracks, once you get closer to the spot, um, yeah, some of them are pretty pretty out there. So definitely jump out of your car and have a bit of a look because because yeah. it's so windy out there all yeah, the time. The dunes are moving a lot. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, we know from experience, don't we? Definitely we have had jump some, out and have a look. Yeah, check out our Lancelin video if you didn't see that. <laughs> Definitely have learnt from that experience. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, right, we're going to uh, jump in and have some lunch. How weird are those poles? Yeah, super weird. So Riso's down here fishing and he's found himself some uh, very strange caves. <laughs> and Lyle's trying to go head first like usual. So strange, hey. They're hollow, look. They're what? They're hollow. Huh. I wonder if they had tree roots in them or something. Be careful because they're probably not all that straight. Yeah, you can actually see up through. It's like daylight. Off this side, ready? Ready? Ooh. Wow, they look super so cool. weird. Very cool. Yeah, it is, yeah. It is an interesting coastline. Look at the, look at the vines coming yeah, down. Yeah, I know, these coming down, I thought it looked really cool. Huh? Mm. It's definitely an interesting coastline. I think this spot, which is probably like what, the second or third wiki camps pin when you get to yeah. Sandy Cape, something <clears> like that, like heading north. Definitely the best spot that we saw and we checked quite a few. Crabs, I saw a crab over there, we'll go and have a look in a minute. 
Well, we don't want to spend too much time under there though, because yeah, I judging by all of these. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find a gorgeous splashing? What is it like? Oh. oh. Splash? Is it splash? Oh. Good morning. We are just getting ready to go out on the boat, but the weather's very different from yesterday. <laughs> are you keen? Mm. <laughs> <Very bumpful. laughs> yeah, we're really keen to get out, even if we just sort of putt around for half an hour or something, just to get used to it, because we haven't actually put it into the water other than that little dam. So, yeah. So we are at the beach access, and it's looking a little bit choppy. I don't know, it doesn't look ideal. So Reese has just been checking it. Hi. What do you think? A bit choppy. It's choppy, but I think we'll just go for a little burn around mm. at the very least. Yeah. Just for something to do, but I don't think Lila's going to love it all that much. It's a bit, yeah, it's a bit, a bit. We just can't beat the wind at the moment. Like, yeah. WA. Yeah, and we're, we're conscious of um, her having like a bad experience for the first couple yeah. of times because we don't want her to lot dislike the boat. Yeah. So yeah, we're just tossing up what we want to do. The new tinny. We're so excited to have this little weapon on the roof. It's been a long time coming, this tinny. Um, we picked it up cheap, just second hand in Perth. So it's sitting up there on a little rhino rack side loader that we picked up broken off Facebook Marketplace and I ended up just fixing it up and it seems to be working sweet. I will do another video down the track, running you guys through a bit more of an in-depth look at the whole setup. Uh, but for now, we're just cheering to have it. So, that worked pretty well. That's all right. <laughs> We're still getting used to it, obviously, but it's a pretty cool little side loader. I wouldn't say it's the best system ever by any stretch of the imagination, but it was cheap and it works, so I don't have to lift it, so. Yeah, for sure. That's all right. <laughs> not happy Jan <laughs> I should have just stayed and not went in it was just like you couldn't even accelerate because the motor the boat was just all over the shot like there's no way I would have taken Lila out there yeah so. oh what a pain in the arm <laughs> so we're just we're giving the little setup a go these little wheels they're great but they're not very good on the like wet sinky sand yeah, yeah I think we'll have to uh it's a really soft beach as well, which is not ideal either. Yeah, but the motor went well, didn't it? Yeah, it all worked well. It's just, it's too choppy out there for this little boat. I guess. Yeah. Lila's found the blue bottles. I've been trying to teach her not to touch them. What are they? Bottle. Bottle, that's right, a blue bottle. Should we touch the blue bottles? No, good girl. So this is the little motor trolley that Reese has rigged up. It's be working all right. It's um, definitely heavy, the motor. Well, it's not light, but uh, the trolley seems to be working good. So we're kind of using a trolley and the drawer to get it in there, which seems to be working pretty good. Yeah. Man. Good as... as good as a DIY I can be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad eh? Good. Magic. So during Lila's nap, I did a little bit of work online and Reese has been busy fishing. Yeah, we got some, uh, I went out and just threw the squid jig around and got some squid, so. Yes, love I'm gonna squid. have that for lunch because I'm absolutely starving it's like two o'clock we haven't eaten so 
Lila had the best sleep ever. She slept so yeah. well till for over two hours, two and a half hours. Yeah, that's like a long that. very long. For her, it's usually between like an hour and two hours, so she did very well. You're not right, still. You playing with the dolly and kitty. So now she's on egg, we can actually like use egg to coat stuff again too, which is really awesome. good. Awesome. Yeah, things should stick a little bit better now. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Did you have a really good sleep? Would you like to have some squid for lunch? No comment. Not dirty, my old my clasps are. Don't say that. You probably got all squid guts on there. Mm -hmm. Gross. Squid guts are the best guts. So what do you put in the mix? Paprika? Yeah, a little too much. Came out a little bit too it's fast. It's pink house, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. Well, you know how we like smoked paprika. Is it yummy? <laughs> Pretty good. Mm. And a cold beer. Hard mm. to beat. Definitely feels like a holiday. Mm. Yeah. Yummy? <laughs> so what's on the sava? Really good. The sava, I think, just chill down in the water, I think. Mm. You, you're a sunburn. I was just going to say you've got a sunglasses tan. Mm. Yeah, it's been overcast. It's actually cleared up now, but it's been overcast today. It's been overcast today and it, the sun seems to have smashed me. Yeah, it was really hot when I was down there before. Yeah, so I think we'll just probably swim for the, for the hour. Yeah. For a few beers. Sounds nice. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. So we've, uh, we've just hooked the monitor up to our little eco flood. We're charging up the, up to the headland to watch the sunset. Wow. Oh, it's really pretty. <laughs> it's been a while since we've um, put the monitor on to go for a sunset. Yeah. Oh, my this God. is. We'll have to go slow for the big reveal. Oh, that's pretty. Not bad spot for a sunset. So we're going to have a beer and a wine and sit right here and watch this sunset. This is magic up here. <laughs> so good. Might even set up a little, might even set up a little time lapse so we can, uh, you guys can watch it with us. So that wind just did not stop. So we ended up packing up the next morning, started to head north. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. We're gonna wrap this video up here. Really appreciate you guys following along each week. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, it really helps us out. And we'll see you next week for another video. Cheers.